Skins in CSGO have been given several new features over the years, the latest being a pearlescent value, which shipped with Operation Shattered Web. Being pearlescent means a weapon's colour will deviate from how it was originally, moving across the colour spectrum. How much they do this by depends on the angle they're viewed from, and from how big their pearlescent value is, which is hidden somewhere inside CSGO's files. The number can range between minus 100 and 100, and what's nice about it is that you don't have to get anywhere near the limits to be able to see the effect. In fact, go too far and it goes from looking like a pearl to instead looking like it's been drenched in oil. A cool effect, maybe, but definitely one we'll see overused and abused. If set too high, then skins shift across the colour spectrum several times and the end result will look similar regardless of what colour they started as. The effect only targets areas of colour. There are four guns already in the game that feature this effect, all in the newly included cases. Some of these were community made, though I believe Valve added the effect later. So this is how the skins would have looked originally, before the effect was added. And here is how they'll appear in game, with their default pearlescent values. I'm going to say again, I'm absolutely sure that skin makers will end up overusing this effect, but Valve have kept it rather reserved for these four, and they all start off a kind of bluish colour. I'm wondering if this was just coincidence, or if Valve did this deliberately, and then gave them all different pearlescent values so that we could see what kind of a difference they made. The orb has the smallest value of just 0.5, and even this is enough to shift it from being all blue to being half purple. Don't overuse this effect. It's powerful. Kind of like a ghost pepper, a small bit adds a lot, and too much will result in a horrible multicoloured mess with bits of spaghetti and stomach lining everywhere. I tried flipping the value so it was negative 0.5, and instead of shifting across to purple you can now see that it moves the other way across the colour spectrum, becoming light blue. If the number was greater, like minus 1 or minus 2, you'd see it becoming green. As luck would have it, the MP9 and P90 do have a stronger effect, with values of minus 1 and minus 2 respectively. Both being bluish originally, the pearlescent effect shifts them both towards lighter blues and greens in colour, though the red on the MP9 has become more of a crimson, which might also just be red. I'm terrible with colour names. And most ambitiously, the Org has the highest value of them all, with a value of 12 out of 100, and you can already see the effect changing the flowers from being all blue to being all colours at the same time. It no longer really matters what colour the flowers were originally. This effect will either be great for people who are indecisive about their colour choices, or it will make the job even harder. But what if we make this effect even stronger? I set all their pearlescent values to 25. Not surprisingly, this made the smallest difference to the orc, which went from rainbow coloured to multi-rainbow coloured. You can see several streaks of each colour at all times. In fact, this happened to all of them. The MP9 looks like an oil spill. The P90 looks pretty good in my opinion. Looks like it's become one big holographic sticker. I believe this is because the original colours of its design were muted. The effect becomes a lot stronger with the orb, what with its already colourful underlying pattern. And the effect crosses the unholy unicorn puke boundary. Only a fool would dare go further. I turned it all the way up to 100 and the orb had to cram so many rainbows into such a small space that I think we've almost gone full circle with it becoming so refracted that they've all started to merge again, becoming almost white. The P90 holds up pretty well, being super holographic on the sides and oil spilled on the top of the ammo drum. The MP9 is undeniably oily and the orc's colours are so confused I'm amazed an error message hasn't popped up. I played about with the effect in the editor on plain colours and it looks like this. Now I'll hand it over to you, I'm sure the community will think of all kinds of imaginative and horrifying ways to use this new effect, which looks like it can be added to any of the existing weapon finishes. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility.